no talk for me i don't think it'll i don't know if it seems like i haven't been well i've been posting here and there but it's mostly been sponsored content that was filmed ages ago not ages but in advance so it wasn't in real time that it was posted and so it feels like i haven't talked or caught up with y'all in a very long time life has been going fast it's been like a whirlwind and i've just been living it just trying to stay on track and and you know on top of everything finally literally finally i feel like i'm just kind of settled and and also just ready to get back on track with work and stuff like that and posting and sharing with y'all which has been a long time coming because this whole year and last year has been rocky with me rocky for me with social media and posting and work and stuff like that but I think I'm gonna do I'm I'm going into a new space and I'm very excited for the new year by the way. Um but I'm also just excited for all of the things that I want to do because there's just been a lot of changes. So today is my anniversary weekend, or this weekend is my anniversary and we are we're going to dallas to celebrate and we'll be there it's like a night trip tonight we're going to a symphony and then we're having brunch tomorrow and then we're doing some stuff here on sunday sunday is the actual day so i'm coming up it's been a year since i got married <laughs> which is very crazy because it went by I, it's i've been kind of thinking about it and it's been a very long and short year at the same time um it went by very fast like it was kind of non-stop i won't say it was short it just felt non-stop but a lot has happened in the last year packed up my clothes and stuff and i'm ready so i'm just waiting for um for him to get off of work and then we'll be heading out soon um to check into the hotel and then i think the symphony is at i don't know we will be cutting it close i know that yeah i think the last time i really really chatted was when i made the video saying that i had left guam and all of the plans that i had now in that video i was saying all the plans that i had that for the summertime um oh no i vlogged a couple other times um and getting my car and that was really the last time that i chatted and it's funny i don't because as soon as i got the car was like the threshold from like just waiting 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 mode to go mode and as soon as i got my car literally that's why i hadn't updated y'all but the last time that i sat down to, ch to actually talk i filmed to get ready with me saying that i was going apartment shopping or apartment hunting whatever it's called and i was gonna like update y'all never got to edit that video <laughs> today is kind of packed i'm on my way to take my mom to her doctor's appointment i don't know if this made it into the video but she recently just about a month now a month ago she had um surgery and so i've been helping her like take her taking her to the doctor's appointments and stuff and she has like a physical therapy i think it's oh yeah twice a week so we're always like on our way to the doctor's appointment early in the morning and that's the first thing that we have to do um okay so then after that we're going heading to to pick up my mom's artwork she was in an art show recently and the show is over and then from there we're gonna go and drive to the new place that i'll be living in and very soon because we're gonna go look at um a place to live so i've been doing some apartment hunting online for me and my husband because he comes back in just over like a month in one month and two weeks so i'm gonna be moving a little bit early if everything goes if, if it works out and if it's meant to be i'll be moving in a little bit early but if not i'm still going to look just to see the areas the locations like what can work and what i like and what we both like and stuff so that is a drive away it's about two hours so we'll be driving there and then i have an appointment at three to tour the apartment and then hopefully we'll be able to see some others i don't know Hopefully it won't be too late, but 
even if we just tour that one we'll probably still drive around see like the neighborhoods and stuff of other ones and um i haven't been there in a long time in that city so just driving around my mom has never been there either so i'm sure we'll just kind of see what it's gonna be like <laughs> my new city what it's gonna be like so yeah so i started packing um and decluttering mainly so trying to downsize a little bit like it's weird i'm moving fully moving out and having to downsize because i've just utilized like so much space over the time not to mention i had a whole studio which is in storage so even after i move and like start moving in and unpacking i know i plan on not using everything that i have like i'm so ready to declutter all of this or just get rid of all of the stuff and consolidate it into one you know one setup i've had so many things over the years from living in two different places and then on top of that not moving yeah living in two different places uh, i'm sure some of y'all probably can relate if you lived if you went back and forth between your parents house if they're divorced or separated or not together or anything but the little things i'm trying to get ahead of big things like furniture i do kind of want to bring everything together to see what's going to be the best you know what might be the best setup and then declutter or you know pick and choose what i want to keep and what i don't want to keep so yeah the next couple of months are going to be lots of continuing lots of decluttering and getting rid of stuff went apartment shopping found the apartment applied got it it all happened very fast and i was moving like within the the week or those same week or if it wasn't or like in, within two weeks of like seeing the apartment i was moving and i was moving to a different city two hours away so it was a lot and i was moving I was moving my things that I still had at my parents' house where I lived before I got married and moved. And I, we, since I moved to Guam, I didn't take all of all of my belongings, so I still had all of that stuff to deal with. The original plan was to deal with it then, but I ended up leaving right after the wedding. And then, yeah, so I had a lot of stuff to handle when I got back. So got everything moved now. I had every I feel like I wanted to do like the moving vlog thing because <laughs> that's what people do on YouTube but when I tell you that was it was like crazy first of all it just happened so fast I didn't even everything just started happening fast and it was a lot to going on and when I have a lot on my on my plate I cannot stop to like talk about it. it I can't like if I feel like I'm not working on the task at hand I'm like wasting time and it gives me anxiety so I did not film the day that I moved um packed up my u-haul my dad my mom my dad my auntie they all helped me move and I had a lot of stuff I had a u-haul truck full like packed to the brim and it was not the smallest u-haul I think it was like the 15 foot u-haul packed to the brim it was a big feat for like just me and my dad it was a lot of stuff but i got moved in september 1st and i was finally living on my own um just waiting for a turn to get here so i had a month to kind of plan or not plan but prepare get every all of my stuff situated and set up the apartment so when he got home it was like completed kind of completed I did purchase this couch. I bought a new bed frame. That was the only new things that I got. Everything else in here was mine. Um, so September, literally September 1st to October 1st, the day that he came, I was unpacking, buying stuff. And it would have been great content. But like I said, I cannot, it's just it's stressful moments. I kind of just go inward and it's very hard for me to, do anything else other than that task or else it just stresses me out more um so that happens to me all the time which like when big events actually happen like the good the good stuff the interesting stuff i can i never have i never share with y'all because it's usually stressful and then i can't i go yeah anyway that's besides the point but just if you were wondering my husband got home october 1st or the second 
he saw everything that I did, he liked it. And then our stuff from Guam came like within the week, which was like a dining table, all of the kitchen stuff. So that was good because I didn't have any of that. Um, but then like when it came to like my office stuff and my like beauty, vanity and all that kind of personal stuff, it was accumulating and I had a lot of stuff. So it's I still have boxes. I'm still not 100% settled into my office studio room i still got stuff that needs to be sold because i have you know extra stuff but yeah all of october was kind of getting settled in again with more stuff that came in the mail and then also just back to full wife status because i had been just on my own again the wife responsibilities do take a little get getting used to and i had just gotten used to them when i was in guam right before i left the routines and all that november has been pretty chill almost every weekend since Trent got back we've been to dallas visiting events stuff like that's been happening so it's been just busy like and it's not even that it's busy like this is just kind of like how life is now it's just kind of picked up like one more level picked up and so I've been trying to figure out how to make everything work, you know, and get into my own routine with all of the responsibilities because it's not slowing down. Like it's just how life is. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't know if any, any of y'all have ever experienced this, but after high school, every couple of years, like every new phase of life, it feels like it kind of like picks up a little bit where you're like oh i can't wait for a break or i can't wait for things to slow down but really that's just like the new normal and it's just like you have to re you have to learn how to juggle one more thing kind of thing yeah but still we have a lot to catch up on that's just kind of like the overview was there anything else i moved i live in a new city it's been pretty cool so far so this entire year literally has just been so crazy a, a year ago i got married and that first six months i was living in guam and then i came back and now it's been another six months i've been back handling my business moving so yeah i mean 2023 has been great and i'm very excited i'm so excited for 2024 yeah i've been so excited for 2024 because I'm still trying to figure out like my planner situation. I know I've, sh I've shared my planner and stuff and I'm still trying to, I think I know what I want to do. I've ch um, this year I went back to paper planning. So I've been trying different things. So I do want to share that with y'all because that's been a big, uh, what I've been focusing on for like the last couple of weeks. I have my planner right here. Right now I'm using my traveler's notebook. So yeah. Um, what else? Planner stuff coming soon. Big things. It hasn't been like a lot going on. It's just been like big things that kind of take up a lot of stuff. So yeah, I just wanted to fill y'all in. Yeah, I also straightened my hair yesterday. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I filmed it. I filmed straightening my hair. And this is the first time that I've straightened my hair since knowing like cracking the code. I talked about that in a months ago, but I hadn't re-straightened it. And I implemented like all the things that I've learned and it turned out great as y'all can see. Um, also, y'all can see my hair has grown. Well, you probably saw before I curled it. Um, it's like fully bra, I don't know, bra strap length. Like it kind of is like, or armpit length. I don't know what they call it. Um, and if y'all remember one year ago at my wedding, I had cut my hair and it was pretty like bobby. It was like a long bob. So I would say like my hair has grown like this much. Um, and I want to do like, there's a lot of hair uh, videos that I have planned to do. I've been telling myself like, oh, as soon as I get a second, as soon as things slow down, but it's not slowing down and it's about to be the holidays. So I just need to fit it into my schedule, how my hair grew, my silk press routine, all of my hair tips, all of that stuff. So yeah, that's a little catch up. That's what's been going on in my life. It's gonna be a fun weekend this weekend. Next weekend is next week is Thanksgiving. Um, then it's Christmas time. There'll be some decorating. Got to put up the Christmas tree. So it's just gonna be a really fun and eventful um, end of the year.
conclude this video, I wanted to chat a little bit more about how the end of the year went for me and I had some unused footage. So I'm just gonna put that together for y'all. <laughs> so after our anniversary came the holiday season, we spent Thanksgiving with my family in Texas. And then a few weeks later, I went to Houston to see my brother graduate from law school. And right after that, uh, Trent and I road trip to South Carolina to spend Christmas with his family. So that was my first time in South Carolina and I had a really good time. This past holiday season was one of the busiest I've ever had and I enjoyed all of it. Uh, yeah, I hope y'all all had a warm and happy holiday season last year. Moving on to the new year. First of all, happy new year. This will be my first video of 2024 and I've been anticipating this year for a minute now. Um, I mean, my mind map, my goals, my vision board very early, like during Thanksgiving. So I'm definitely ready for this year. Despite being more absent on my platforms, at the end of 2023, I have still been working a lot. Um, so I'm excited to share all the things that I've been working on. If I could sum up the end of the year and the entire year really, the word living would describe it perfectly. Um, being in the moment, taking it all in, experiencing life through my own eyes, and I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, sometimes I kind of beat myself up about how absent I was just because this is my job. But I think of it as kind of like, it was just a transition period for me and I, it's just, it is what it is. I enjoyed it so much for a lot of different reasons other than like being very productive with work. And I'll always remember like the year 2022 and 2023. I had a lot of new experiences and I reached a lot of milestones, like some of the ones that I mentioned in the video. One I didn't really mention was 10 years on YouTube. Um, this past like fall season, my channel turned 10, which is unbelievable definitely a big accomplishment for me. This channel is my largest diary of memories. I am a memory keeper. I like journaling and writing things down. I like keeping my memories in the form of words mostly. So it's really cool to have visual documentation of my life over the past 10 years. I can go back and look at 13 year old me, um, high school me, you know, graduating post-college, becoming an adult and just it's kind of like a time capsule. So I will always cherish the videos I've created over the last decade. That is all that I have really been up to. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this year, um, exploring a lot of the things that I've just been very interested in, but have put on the back burner because I don't know, I just felt like they weren't as important as other things, but being like a, a well-rounded person is very is important. So even though it might not be something that's work or that makes income or money doesn't mean that it's not important. And I just really wanna put a lot of time into everything and have a lot of balance, a lot more balance this year. My goal is to really juggle all the things of life well, um, be able to you know, be a good person in all of the roles that I have in my life. And yeah, so this is the start. Happy New Year. I hope y'all's new year is off to a good start. I hope y'all are excited about the new year. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye.